A chieftain of the All Progressives Congress and former chairman of the Benue State Internal Revenue Service has called on the federal government to resettle people displaced by farmer herders' conflict in Benue State. Mimi Orubibi, a former senatorial candidate of the APC for Benue Northeast Senatorial District, made the call shortly after she visited an internally displaced persons camp at Abagina in Makadi. My Walkwater reports. <laughs> The increasing number of internally displaced persons in Benue State has become more worrisome as the numbers is above 1 million. Concerned by the hardship faced by the growing number of IDPs and the poor standard of living, which is considerably below the average standard of living, a chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, APC, calls on the federal government to fulfill its promise to return IDPs to their home. I am not hiding from the fact that I'm APC, but we have failed the nation. I will say it, because if you rule a country and dollar is 503, where are we coming from? How much was bread? How much was a bag of rice? It's a pity. And so I chose to come here because by now these people are not supposed to be in the camp. The former senatorial candidate of the APC for Benue Northeast Senatorial District added that restoring the livelihood of displaced persons should be prioritized. She says food security would also increase the country's crime rate. For these people to be here, for us to be bringing uh, some bags of rice, some uh, Indomie, how long can this feed them with their children? All I ask is President Buhari and all those at the helm of affairs should do the needful to resettle these people. I remember when the Vice President Osimbajo came here. He had promised that he was going back and that our families would be relocated. That has not been done. It is expected that the federal government will play its part in fulfilling its promise of returning the internally displaced persons to their ancestral home. And this is not just Benue State, but across the country. Mayowa Okwato. TVC News, Abagana.